good morning class welcome back to your video lecture we were doing the chapter how the dog found himself a new master this is a chapter second from your book honeysuckle and as we all know that in our previous video we have completed the chapter reading session as well as we have discussed the uh, chapter as well so in this video we are going to basically discuss the summary of the chapter and after discussing the summary we are going to discuss the moral or you can say the what the story tells us in a brief way and after that we are going to do the question answers from the chapter so let's begin our summary first so earlier dog was their own master and lived the way wolves do so as we all know that dogs and the wolves they both are closely related family members and as we know that wolves are so free they have full freedom to move inside the forest the same way the dog used to have it they were also free to move inside the forest they were also free they also had freedom no uh, freedom to move inside the forest they didn't have any rest any type of restriction over them and they were fully free they were free to move as we all know that uh, they have full freedom to move wherever they wanted to move whatever they wanted to do they had they didn't have any type of restriction over them until when a new newly born dog did not like uh, like to live in this way so we know that there is a newborn dog who was not happy with the way the other dogs were living he was basically ill pleased with the manner they were living and what does the ill pleased means ill pleased basically means he was not happy with the way the other dogs were living why was so because it uh, for him it was so tiring to move inside the forest in search of his prey you can see in search of his food uh, and while he, they he, they used to move inside the forest he he has to protect himself from the other stronger being inside the forest so in order to save him he didn't like the idea of moving all over the forest and to be scared from those who are stronger to him so what he decided he then decided that he set out to find a new master for himself he decided that as he know that he is not the stronger being on earth he is not strong, not a stronger being inside the forest he decided that now he is going to find himself a new master and he wanted a master who is basically stronger than anyone on earth so he decided he now he is going to find himself a master who is stronger than anyone on earth who can protect him from the other you know other animals inside the forest and while in the search of his whole his new master what happened with him what kind of animals he met so this is the basically story of this chapter and we know that while he decided that he is now going to find himself a master what happened next on his way he met a wolf so while he was he has decided that he is going to find himself a master while moving inside the forest he saw that there is a wolf who was coming who whom he met in met there and while he met him he saw that the wolf was so stronger than him he was so fiery he has fiery basically means a face of someone who is so violent that you got scared from them so as he saw that he has a fa he has a facial expression he is uh, of violence he has a expression that can make you feel less you know that can make you feel ki aap log bahut zyada kam ho uske aage you can feel scared from them so he decided that he is now going to ask the wolf to be his master as he saw that he was a stronger person a stronger animal right so he asked the wolf to be his master and wolf had didn't wolf basically didn't have any issue over this fact and he said he basically said that okay i am ready to be your master the wolf was ready to become the master the wolf was ready to be the master of dog he was he had didn't have any type of objection to be his master and he dis, he said that okay you i can be your master and you can be my servant now and then he when he was moving with the uh, wolf inside the forest what happened the dog thought that 
uh, as the, he was moving inside the forest, the wolf and the dog, uh, the wolf suddenly stopped, stopped and sniffed. And he uh, then when he sniffed, he did what he uh, started walking back. And the dog asked the wolf that, why are you moving backwards? Okay, why are you going backwards? So the, um, the wolf said that, I am doing this because there is a beard, a beard and if he see that, sees both of us, what he is going to do, he is going to eat us. So it's better for you and me as well that we move back and we go from here. And as the dog heard all of this, the dog thought that, the beer is stronger than wolf so he went to the beer and asked him to become his master so as the dog saw that that the wolf is not the stronger being the stronger being than wolf was beer so he decided that now he going he is going to go to the beer and ask him to be his master and he did that and the beer beer didn't have any issue over it he said that okay i am ready for you to be my uh, servant and as they both were move, uh, move the beer asked the, the beer asked the dog that now as you are my servant let's go and find a cow's hurt and i am going to kill a cow and then we both can eat it and fill our fill us tummy so they both decided to go and find a find those cows and as they were moving inside the forest in the search of cow's hurt they saw that there is a group of cows who were actually moving very disturbedly inside uh, here and there and in all direction they they were basically scared of something and they were move, uh, moving faster and faster and they were making louder noises so the beer and the dog what they did they uh, they stand behind a tree and the beer saw that there is a tiger standing there and what the beer did he got scared and he just he uh, said to the dog that why i am here i should have not come to this side of the jungle and the dog asked that why you are uh, why master why are you saying this so the beer replied that this side of the jungle is ruled by the lion and, and as the dog uh, saw that the beer is scared of lion and lion is the stronger being than beer he decided now he is going to stay with the uh, tiger uh, beer and he said that you can go i am uh, i will stay with the lion and he went to the uh, and he saw that the beer was afraid of lion so he decided that he is now going to left the beer and uh, went to the lion okay and he asked the lion that can you be my master and lion said okay you can be my servant and as with for a long period of time they both lived very happily they both were enjoying their life there was uh, no one there was no one basically who was you know uh, making dog making dogs scared or there was no one who can who can offend a dog offend basically means there was no one who wanted to uh, make dog unhappy why because they all knew that the dog was the servant of lion and all the members inside the forest they were all scared of lion and they didn't want it to take any type of uh, they, uh, they didn't want it to get on the bad side of lions so they both they, he didn't the the rest of the members from the jungle they didn't ever try to mess with dog they didn't uh, ever try to do anything to the dog and they both were living very happily very proudly until one day <coughs> what happened the dog saw that the lion is also scared of someone he is also scared of someone and who was that being being that was a man lion was afraid of a man and while the dog saw that lion is afraid of man he decided now he is going to leave the side of lion and he is going to serve the man as his master and so what he decided so the dog went and went to man and become his servant he went to the dog went to the man and he become his servant and after that the dog served the man faithfully and always remained his servant so as we all know till now the dog is known to be the most loyal servants of man most loyal servants of man so you can say this is basically a 
predictions of how the dog became uh, has found his master that is the human being and in search of uh, the ultimate master he went to different type of uh, other masters and who were those first first the master the first master was wolf the second master was bear and the third master was lion and after being with these three type uh, three masters he finally uh, met the ultimate master who was the man so as we have already done the summary now now we can move forward to the moral of the story so the moral of the story how the dog found himself a new master is that of to be humble and serving the story is about a dog find, finding of for himself a master and when he finally find himself a master in human he became loyal to him and decided to serve him as a servant so as we all know the story is about a dog in search of a master to protect his life from the other stronger beings so as we all know that this story basically portrays that how the dog has found himself a new master and how he has protected his own life by serving a master who is stronger than anyone on earth and while in search of doing that he he decided to become a loyal loyal master loyal uh, you know loyal servant of the master and master was the human and the loyalty loyalty basically means you are properly dedicated to that person you have proper loyalty among that person so he decided to be a loyal uh, loyal servant for human being and in search of all the all these he decided he was humble and serving he was humble to tho- uh, those who was the, his master and he was with full dedication he was serving to those who were their master uh, his master at that point of time so this shows how lo- loyal he was how loyal how much loyalty he had towards his master this shows all- it shows that now moving forward we are going to discuss the question answers of the chapter okay so uh, here are some extra question as well as the questions from the textbook so let us discuss this why was the dog ill pleased so basically the question is why was the dog ill pleased and the meaning of word ill pleased i have already told you is uh, he was not why the dog was not happy so basically as we all know that the dog was ill pleased because he was not satisfied with the way the other human uh, the sorry the other dog were living so he was not happy because uh, he was basic he used to basically get sick tired from the wandering around inside the forest as they in the in search of prey or you can say in search of food how the other dog used to you know wander around inside the forest and he used to feel sick of that thing and he used to feel tired so he was basically uh, not happy with the way the other dogs were living the next question is why did the dog leave the wolf so why did the dog leave the wolf we know that the wolf was the first master that the jo- dog chooses for him and while he was uh, moving with him he saw that the be- uh, the do- uh, the wolf was scared from the bear so as he knew uh, get to know that the be- uh, the wolf was not the only strongest person he is scared of the other being that is bear so he decided that now he as he, he is not the strongest person he, uh, strongest uh, being so he decided that he is going to leave him and he he then moves moved towards the bear and asked him to be his master now the third question is how did the dog became servant of a man so as we all know that in search of his ultimate master in search of his master he went through different masters first and the first one was the wolf he leave the wolf because he saw that the wolf is uh, wolf is scared of bear then while he was with bear he saw that the bear was scared of lion 
and while he was living with lion he was actually enjoying that phase because for a long period of time there was no one uh, no other uh, being who was stronger than lion and he was enjoying uh, with him as there was no one who wanted to mess with the lion there was no one who wanted to offend the lion so they didn't offended the dog as well as because he was the servant of the lion so while he was serving him a servant of the lion so while he was serving him one day he saw that the dog the lion is also scared of men and as he saw that the man was the ultimate you know ultimate person with whom the uh, the the, uh, the head of the jungle is scared of so he decided that now he is going to serve the ma man as his master so now the textbook questions the first question is why did the dog feel the need for a master so why did he dis uh, decided that now he has to find someone to serve it's because basically he was not pleased with the way he, the other dogs were living in he he was not basically he didn't wanted to basically live life where he is scared of other beings he didn't wanted to feel tired tired by wandering around inside the forest and to save his as and at the same po point of time to save his life from the other uh, few other beings so he decided that as he is not able to protect himself he is now going to find someone and serve him as his servant and that master will protect him from the other beings inside the forest second question is who did he first choose as his master why did he leave that master so as we all know the first uh, the first master that the dog chooses was the wolf the wolf he chooses the wolf as his first master and why he left him he left him because he saw that the wolf was basically scared of bear so he decided that as the wolf is not the ultimate creature ultimate being who can be his master as he wanted someone who is stronger on the earth so as he knew that he is not the strongest among all of them so he decided that he is going to leave the side of wolf the third question is who did he chooses next so as we all know why he was wolf with wolf he didn't find it secure to be with him because he was not the ultimate or you can say he was not the strongest among all of them so he decided the next person the next uh, uh, he chooses the next uh, you can say being he chooses to be his master was the who was it he was the bear yes he was bear so first one was the wolf the second one was the bear okay the third question is done now the fourth question why did he serve the lion for a long time so as we all know the third master of the dog was lion and why he served him for a long time because inside the jungle there was no any animal no other animal who was stronger than the lion and as he we all know that for a long time he was with him it was good it was for him a good life he was basically enjoying it and he had never uh, uh, never have anything to complain about he didn't have anything to complain about he was enjoying his life with the lion he as he was the strongest beast inside the forest and all of the other animals were scared of the lion so they didn't even offended the dog as they all knew that the lion is the ultimate king of the jungle so he chooses lion because he was happy living with him he was enjoying the time with him with the lion and there were no one who wanted to offend the lion so they didn't even try to offend dog as well and they both were enjoying their times there now the last question is who did he finally choose as his master and why so who was the one he finally chose so we all know that the fine he finally chose men as his master right he chose man as his master why because at the end he uh, he got to know that even the uh, strongest beast inside the forest that is a lion was scared of man so he saw that 
character man is the strongest among all of them so he decided that he is now going to serve man as a master and till now we know that dogs still serves the man or you can say human being as their master and they are very loyal towards their master so these were the questions students so i hope you all have understood the questions and now at the end of the video i would like to say that all of you have to do your work uh, in your copy as well as the worksheet that i am going to give you you also have to do that correctly in your notebook and if you have any doubt you can ask me on uh, or when we have the next zoom class thank you everyone i hope you have enjoyed this